everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be live swatching the ColourPop Cosmetics and Bretman Rock collab. I am so stoked for this collection. It looks absolutely gorgeous. If you're new to my live swatching videos, hi, welcome. I hope you stay. Please subscribe, hit that notification button, and give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Thumbs down is fine too, you know, either way counts towards engagement or some shit like that. That's what they keep telling me. I am so excited for this collab. It really truly looks like something different. We have two different themes with this collab, which I love. I love the red and blue. So there's the lit theme and then there is the wet theme. So there's a bunch of kind of red tone products and a bunch of blue tone products. So we're gonna be trying them all today. I'm so excited! What should we start with? I'm gonna start with the red because I'm such a red fan. We're gonna run through this collection, try it all on the face, and then we'll hop on over to the blue collection. Again, if you're new to live swatches and you're not familiar with this concept, we basically try everything on the face. That means if it's eyeshadow palettes, we try each eyeshadow on the eye. If it's lips, we try it on the lips, cheeks on the cheeks. You get the deal. It's super fun and it's a great way for you to see how the products actually work. This first thing that I want to start with is like the most exciting thing I've seen from ColourPop so far. In my own personal opinion, this is just you like yes like yes right this is the ColourPop Cosmetics and Bretman Rock body glitter gel this color here is called she lit and you can see it's got some beautiful golds reds it just looks so awesome like yes ColourPop yes Bretman Rock come out with more of these I haven't even put it on my face yet and I'm just stoked again this is a body glitter so it can go anywhere on the body Bretman Rock I saw in the ads or in their promo shots had it I believe on his cheekbones which looked super cool so I want to put this on first so that hopefully gradually throughout the video we can see how it wears somewhat and at the end of the video we can see did it crust did it get weird or is it amazing I want to feel the texture first it is gritty like a glitter it's it's not super jelly oh my gosh but so much comes off that is insane oh my goodness I honestly expected this to be a little more sheer a little more jelly no, that's got some life to it. So I think I'm gonna pop this right on the cheekbone there. Again, this is called She Lit. I'm actually gonna use a brush for this. This is a Sigma Beauty skincare brush, but I've been loving it for makeup. This is the gel mask brush. It's really great for gel masks, but I think it'll be awesome for this as well. Again, you could use your fingers if you prefer. So I've got a good amount on the brush there and it popped right on the brush. It was not even hard. Oh, let me zoom you beautiful bitches in, hold on. By the way, if you like this headband, Walmart. Walmart, girl. Are you kidding me? No one wants to talk about shopping at Walmart, but I'd be I'd be shopping at Walmart. Probably would have paid 12 bucks for this headband at Forever 21. Nope, Walmart got my back. It's going right on the face real quick. This is so fun. This is the funnest thing ever. This would probably be amazing on the eyes to throw on, think New Year's, Christmas, any fun party, festivals, raves, you know, whatever you get down with. I'm also gonna apply some with the finger. Oh, it definitely goes on like crazy with a finger. The finger definitely applies it the most, if you know what I'm saying. It picked up a lot and it's pressing a lot on. Boom, boom shakalaka laka, boom shakalaka laka. I love this. This is just so fun. There's nothing else to say about it except for it's this awesome red, green, gold, just kind of rainbow sparkle gel. It feels completely dry now. After patting it, there's only two little pieces of glitter that came up. So I do like how fast it dries. It seems like it just like went right on straight away, no problems. Um, so that was the easiest thing we've ever live swatched. I'm gonna leave it on through this video and at the end we'll see how it's looking. I do wanna point out that it came with one of these little toppers. Definitely keep it on there so that it doesn't dry out. You know what, I'm a moron. I, <laughs> I was so excited because of the glitter that I started with the glitter. Like I could not wait, but I probably should have done the cheek color first. So anyway, we're gonna do this next. I promise on the next swatches I'll do the cheek color first and then the glitter on top of it. I wasn't really thinking straight. I saw glitter and I got excited. So this here is the Super Shock Cheek. This shade name is Oh She's Blushing. First of all, I love the detail on the rim of the cheek color. I also really love the shade names for all this stuff. All of these names are just like so true to Bretman. I think it's amazing. Oh, she's blushing. Like, that's cute. So let's go ahead and pop. This is, br whoa, she is pigmented. This is bright. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, this is way brighter than I was expecting. Now, you'll never hear me complaining that things are too pigmented, like ever in my life. But just know, you're just only gonna want a dab of this, just a pinch of it. It is bright. Just trying to blend that in a bit. That's got a lot, a lot of color. I think something like this would be pretty if you melted a little bit of concealer or foundation on top of it. I'm gonna get just a dab of concealer. I mean, if you want it this bright, that's 
fine. For me, it's just a smidgen too bright. So I would just layer a little concealer or foundation on top of it. And that just makes it so much more wearable. Really pretty. Actually, kind of more of a natural flush. But just applying it directly, it is bright, you guys. But the deeper your skin tone is, the more amazing this is going to look on you. It is perfect. I actually think it's really amazing for that exact reason. Um, I'm excited about this. So there we have Oh She's Blushing. So I think next I would like to roll into the lip bundle, which looks like this. It's called Lit. You have a lip pencil, an ultra glossy lip, and an ultra satin lip. Oh my gosh, you guys, the packaging. Again, this might be my favorite ColourPop packaging I've ever seen. I Do you see this little flame detail right here? I love that on the lip liner. I love the gold writing. And then on the lip gloss and the lip satin as well, you have that beautiful flame detail, which I just think is the coolest thing ever. I love the gold packaging. So to do this, I think I wanna swatch them separately and then we'll mesh them all together so you can kind of get an idea of how it's going to look. So let's first do the ultra glossy lip. This is in the shade I See You. The shine on this is insane. It definitely has more of a gold hue to it. At first when I popped this on, I didn't love it, and now I actually like it. I think this would be so pretty, like Thanksgiving time, is that silly? It just, it's warm. It's a nice, warm, sheer gloss, a lot of shine, and I feel like we don't see so many warm-toned sheer glosses. Do you know what I'm saying? It's pretty, it's cute. Next, we're gonna try the Ultra Satin Lip in the shade Wig. This looks like a gorgeous red. Ooh. This is so pretty. It's just a gorgeous red. I feel like Snow White right now. Like, I love this. The Ultra Satins are always my favorite formula because they do dry down, but they're not so like, eh, as like the Ultra Matte Lips. It's just a beautiful red. This looks like a perfect little holiday lip set. Like, if you have a bunch of holiday parties coming up, you have a more nude gloss to throw on for something if you have more dramatic eyes. Or you can always go with a beautiful red. You know, you can't go wrong in red. So next, let's try all three together, you guys. First, starting with the lip liner because we haven't seen what that looks like by itself yet. Again, this is the lip liner in the shade Dukes. Have we seen Dukes before? Am I crazy? Probably not. I'm sure we haven't. I don't think he would repeat a color. But for some reason, that word sounds familiar to me, like with ColourPop. I'm probably thinking of something else. Okay, this is such a pretty lip liner. And what I love about this lip liner is you could essentially use this with any of your deeper lip colors. Any of your burgundies, your purples, your really, your, you know, blood reds, and really anything. This is such a great lip liner to play with. It could just be such a great standard, like darker lip liner when you're wearing a darker lip. It just it probably goes with anything because it's not too red, it's not too purple. It's just perfectly dark. And I love that. So again, this is the shade Duke. I think it's super cute. Now let's top our ultra satin lip in the shade wig on top. Ooh, that really deepens it up, doesn't it? Not too much, but it brings something different. I love this. I love this. It like kind of, it still has the red tones, of course, but because the lip liner has a little bit of purple in it, it kind of makes it this red berry. It's really, really yummy. I think it's just like a little bit sexier, more mysterious. I much prefer this lip color. I mean, I loved it alone, but I love it with the lip liner. It's just, it's a little different. It's really, really pretty. It's a gorgeous color combination. So I'm super excited about that. Let's now add the gloss on top just for fun. So I like to just add glosses in the center of the lips. This is how I would wear it. You don't, you kind of no longer see any of that gold. So it would probably just look like a nice sheer lip gloss, but it does bring some dimension to the lips. So it's a really cute little lip bundle. You could use this in a bunch of different ways as I've just shown you. And you can use them separately. You don't have to use them all together either. So it's cute. Lastly, in the Lit Collection, we're going to be using the Lit Pressed Shadow Palette. It looks like this. You have a really pretty gold foil packaging and then glitter. Oh, the glitter. I love glitter. And this is the inside here. No mirror, but this is gorgeous. I love that it's not just the same gold foil, you know? If there's not a mirror, I'm happy to see that there's a little extra detail in there. It looks really great with the gold. And then these here are your shadows. So obviously all warm tones. I love that there's a mustardy yellow in there. You have some neutrals but overall a pretty warm vibe. Let's start with the first shade called Or Whatever. This is a matte peachy maybe? Now again, if you're new to these live swatching videos, we don't use primer, we don't use any sort of base. The closest thing to a base is in between each swatch when I remove the previous color. I do put on a dab of concealer and setting powder just to clean up the lid and give it a fresh, you know, little spot to go on again. But I like to see how the shadow performs without primer personally. I know that irks some people on here because they think it, you know, you can't see 
how the shadow works if it doesn't have primer, but I disagree because I know myself and a lot of other people don't use eyeshadow primer. I always just use my concealer and setting powder. That's my go-to primer, so for me it works. If you disagree, you know, that's your right, girl. I won't stop you. And we're gonna work that up into the crease. So here we have Or Whatever, and I think it is super cute. We've seen this color before, I'm not gonna lie. It's not really anything we haven't seen before from ColourPop. It's still pretty though. It'll be a gorgeous transition shade. It's pretty just all over the lid like this. It gives you a really simple glam, especially if you're gonna be wearing one of these deeper red lips. A color like this on the lids is just perfect. You know, they don't fight against each other. They complement each other. So I think it's a really cute shadow. Nothing unique, but it's pretty. The next shade we're live swatching is called Mercy, and it looks to have a nice shimmer to it. Oh, that looks beautiful. It reminds me of like um, Dorothy's slippers. Um, are you kidding me? Do you see that? Straight pigment? That's insane. There is so much pigment in this eyeshadow. Again, this is on a dry lid with a dry brush. Whoa. I'm not even kidding you guys. This might be my favorite like kind of more shimmery metallic red shadow that I have. I don't know that I have a lot in this exact tone. I think they tend to be a little bit deeper or a little bit more on the cranberry side. But something about this one is just like, bam, I'm taking a blending brush and I'm just working around that just to see how she blends out. And of course, I know it's a little tricky to blend shimmers, but that one's blending real nice. That blended beautifully. It fades a little bit more into a pink as expected, but favorite shadow so far. The next shade we're going to do is called Macchiato. This looks like a nice matte, warmer brown. My goodness, so pigmented. I know I sound like a broken record. I can't help it though. Like to just pop your brush in the palette and to get this much payoff on the lid is pretty amazing. I'm going in one more time for my little outer section here. And then of course, blend out those edges. Now again, my blends are never perfect on these live swatching videos because as I go, my lid gets progressively more raw, but it looks pretty good. I think it looks a little patchy in a few areas. And I don't know if that's just because of my lid or if it's because of the shadow. It's definitely not as patchy as some other collections from some other brands that we've tried in the past, but I feel like I see just a few little gaps where it didn't stay perfectly still. So this might definitely require a primer to stick on, but it's not horrible by any means. And I like the shade that it blended out into. I think that's pretty. The next shade we are live swatching is called Cleo More. Cleo Amore? Is that it? Cleo Amore? Looks like a gorgeous mustardy yellow. Ooh. Ooh, that is so bright. I'm obsessed when anyone puts a yellow in their palettes. It's just like my favorite. I don't know why, because I don't even wear that much yellow on the eyes, but if I see it in a palette, I'm like super excited. And let's blend her out a bit. I honestly don't think she needed that much blending, but just to see what it does. I feel like I see, am I crazy? Is there just a strip of a darker line in the crease there? I can't tell if that's just my eyes. When I'm editing, I'll be able to see it better, which sounds so stupid, but I can't tell if it's just the like the dimension from my own eye, but it looks like there could be a little stripe in the center there that's a little darker. It's blending out fine and it's not getting patchy or streaky or anything like that. But just on first application, I think I noticed a little deeper part there. I actually don't hate it, but overall the shadow itself, it's pigmented. The next shade we are swatching is called She Got Money. This looks like, yeah, it has a bit of a shimmer in it. This shade's a little lackluster to me, I will not lie. I think to use it maybe with a wet brush would be better, or I think if you even have deeper skin, it's gonna look a little nicer on you. To me, it's just not really anything special on myself. It's a pretty shade, don't get me wrong. It's very like old school Hollywood glam, in my opinion, because it's kind of that warmy, bronzy shimmer, but it's not a metallic, it's not a high shine, it's a little dull. This is probably my least favorite shade that we've tried so far. I love the name of the next shade we're live watching. It is called Period. Like period with a T. Period. Ooh, 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 ooh. I love this color. This color makes up for the last color in my opinion. I don't know, just give me a vibrant matte. Just give me a vibrant matte shadow and I am absolutely in heaven. And of course, let's work on that blend. That blended out so, so beautifully. It is a gorgeous color. It's like you know, a little red, but not quite red. I don't know how to describe it. I'm shit at describing colors. You guys know this. It's just gorgeous. I love it. I love it. It's not too deep. It's not too light. I have no words to describe it. It's just really pretty. The next shade we are live swatching is called Like. Is this gonna be more red or more berry or, oh, that's like a nice berry. There's like some pink purple in it. 
This one feels a little more dry and you guys, it 100% could be my lid at this point. After I, you know, do so many live swatches and remove the shadow and things like that, the last few swatches I always wonder if maybe they are a little affected by my lid. So don't, you know, go strictly off my videos. I would definitely watch other people's videos to make your decisions on whether or not you need the palettes and such. Um, but this one feels dry to me and it feels like it's not sticking to certain areas. Of course with a primer I think that would all change. And let's try to blend her out and see, see what happens. It's blending out. It's more of a pink there if you can see. But I do notice it disappearing from my lid there. Definitely. And again, I don't know if it's because I don't have a primer on or if that's just the case. Definitely disappearing. I'm going to grab a bit more of that shadow then and see if I can patch that up and then still blend and see if the same thing happens. This one appears to be a little bit trickier to use. It's definitely fading on that lid while kind of creating that deeper line through the crease. It's kind of cool in a way. It kind of made its own smoky eye with like, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? It kind of made its own cut crease. But if you weren't intending to do that, that could be an issue. And the very last shade of this palette is called Batting. I first thought it said balding and I was like, oh Lord, Bretman, you poor thing. That's not really showing up at all, is it? Let me try it with my finger. I don't see much going on. I don't think it's meant to show up a ton. I think it kind of just looks like almost like a topper or just kind of like a really barely there shade. And I believe that's how it's intended to look. It's kind of like a barely there pink with a gold shimmer finish. I'm going to wet my brush and see if it pops a little bit more that way. Because um, upon first application, you, you can hardly see it, right? Oh, there she is. That's much better. Yeah, so I would 100% recommend using a wet brush or a nice creamy base for this shadow. We really needed it to get it to show up. I'm really certain it just is because I'm applying them on dry lids. Now that's pretty. Now, mm-hmm. I love colors like this with a red lip. Forever on Twitter I had like a red lip. It was like a Valentine's Day tutorial. I did like a red lip and a shadow like this all over the lid and I loved how it looked. I think it's really pretty. It's just simple. We've seen these colors before. It's not absolutely unique but it's cute. Okay you guys so there you have it with the lit palette. It's a really pretty palette. Again I don't think it's anything super unique. We've seen pretty much every single one of these shades before. My most favorite shadows were probably Mercy as well as Cleo Amour. I really liked those colors. Were they super unique? No, they weren't. But if you like your warm tones, you know that's what you love, you'll like this palette. I love the size of it too. It's great for travel, it's real little. That Mercy shade though, I would buy the palette for the Mercy shade. I just thought that was so, so beautiful. So that is my thoughts on this palette, you guys. Let's take a look at um, our glitter. The glitter looks good. There's no like crustacean on it or anything. Let me rub it to see how much comes off. I see a few little flecks of glitter, but not much came off. It's staying actually really, really well. It feels completely dry. There's no gel, there's no stickiness. It's completely set. So that's kind of cool. You actually can't even feel it. It's very, very lightweight. So overall, I really liked this little part of the collection. Now let's move on to the wet collection. All right, so we're bumping on over to the wet collection and this has an overall blue theme. We're first gonna start with the Super Shock Cheek. This is in the shade Spot It. No, stop it, I'm an idiot. Here is Stop It. It's a little more uh, peachy, coral, even slightly more orange than our other kind of hot pink shade. This is like a hot peach. Taking that with my finger again, a little more lightly this time last time. It, I mean, they're just very pigmented. Again, you'll never hear me complain about something being too pigmented because like, what is that? Oh, it's a cute peach. Look at that. That's a nice little cheek color. Here it is just swatched on the finger compared to kind of blended out on the cheek as you can see there. I love this. I love this peach. It's a color that I would love to wear from winter to summer to fall to spring, you know, all the seasons. It's a color like this, same with the other one we tried. I think it's just gorgeous. Next one I'm most excited for, we're gonna be trying, oh my god, I'm wet. <laughs> Yikes! Here it is up close in all of its glory. OMG, I'm wet. I'm gonna apply this one just straight with my finger. Oh, wow. Clearly this isn't like a highlighter shade, but I really don't know where else to put this right now to kind of be able to live swatch for you guys, so I'm just choosing to do it on the cheekbones. It's fun though, like where was this during Halloween time? We could have had so much fun with this. 
ColourPop, please come out with like a whole line of these because they're just fun. I want every shade. So there is OMG I'm Wit. Next, hopping right over to the Lippy Bundle. This has a lip pencil, an ultra glossy lip, and an ultra satin lip. Again, the packaging is just so cute. I love the glitter. Oh, this is fun! This ultra glossy lip looks so pretty. And then this here is the satin, kind of a peach, and then we've got a darker brown for the lip liner. So let's do what we did last time. Let's start with the ultra glossy lip. This is such a gorgeous blue. This is in the shade Kumquat. <laughs> I cannot with these shade names. I'm cracking up. I, for some reason, wanted it to have a blueberry scent, but it doesn't have. I knew realistically it wouldn't have any sort of a blue tint but I was hoping I was wrong. It's a little lighter. It kind of puts a little bit of a like a milky color on. Let me see if I can do it on my hand if you can see it. it. No, it's really just sheer. Once you actually apply it, it's really just a sheer color. It's kind of clear. It's cute in the bottle, but I don't think it does much actually on the lips. Next, let's test the Ultra Satin Lip in the shade. She's cute. I love a good peachy color. So here we have She's Cute, and she is cute. Again, it's nothing super unique, I can't lie. I think the most unique things so far from this collab is just the glitters. It's pretty though, it's a pretty more burnt peach. I like it. Next, let's do the lip liner. This lip liner is called BFF3. Okay, cool. And it also has little water splashes on it, which I think is cute versus the flames it had on the other one. Didn't BFF3 already exist? No, right? Was it just BFF1 and BFF2? I can't remember. Oh, you just can't beat the ColourPop lip liners. They are so creamy. So there is BFF3 lip liner. Now let's top on the She's Cute Ultra Satin Lip. Oh, I already love these colors together. This is a gorgeous, like, nudie peach. Like a burnt, 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 like deep nudie peach. I love how those kind of concocted a different shade altogether together. Do you know what I'm saying? They mixed really, really well. They work really well together and I think it's so beautiful. And then on top of that, we will add Kumquat. I've been really trying to look at the shade to see if any blue shows up whatsoever, but it really doesn't. It feels nice though. Their glosses feel really, really nice. So there are all three shades together. I love, I think my favorite thing in the world is how they all look together. It is such a beautiful shade. It looks like you really like took time and did work to make this lip color because you see the brown, yet you see that peach showing through and the gloss on top just really tops it off beautifully. Next, we're gonna bounce on over to the eyeshadow palette. This is again called Wet. By the way, I don't even think I mentioned it, but the graphics are amazing. His photos are so beautiful on these palettes. I just love it. I love these pictures. I think I'll actually keep the packaging because I think it's just so beautiful. And here is the Wet palette. We got a little silver theme going. Oh. I think we're gonna like this palette. I think this is where all the magic is. Just so you know, I've been cleaning this brush for like 10 minutes, but the red shade that we used in the previous palette kind of stained its edges there a bit, so it is clean. It's just a little stained. I just want you to know that. The first shade we are popping into is called Finished. It's a beautiful light blue. Ooh, I love how pigmented this is. That is amazing without primer. I can't believe how bright that is. Like, even without a like creamy base or a wet base at all, just on a dry lid, it's like really, really popping. So there we have finished. It's a super fun, it's a little chalky, I'm not gonna lie to you. The formula feels a little chalky, which I think, you know, it's probably hard to make these light, light, light colors. But I like it and I can work it and I think with a primer, it's gonna make all the difference in the world. I'm really impressed on how much the blue stands out. It doesn't look chalky on the lid. I can just feel it in the formula, but I still really like it and I definitely will use this in looks. I really wanna actually do like a look with finished, I'm chillin' and mood like all together. I think that would be beautiful. So expect that coming up. It's pretty though, I like it. The next shade we are testing is called I'm Chillin'. A nice, beautiful matte, kind of periwinkle blue. Okay, she's pigmented. I love the brightness in this shade. Wow, that is awesome. That is awesome. Let's blend it out. It definitely blends out to like a brighter aqua blue, but she is blending. It's interesting, it kind of does transition into a completely different type of color. Very pigmented blue. I really like this color. I love all these names. The next shade we are swatching is called LOL I'm Crying. Oh wow, that is a beautiful color. 
It's a little more like of a chunky shadow, so I don't think I'm gonna try to blend this one out because you're just really not supposed to. It's not that you're not supposed to, but it's like, honestly, why would you? It's just meant to be a, like a beautiful, kind of like foiled ocean tropical water look. <laughs> That was so extra, that description, but it's bright, you guys. It's pigmented. This is beautiful. I think this is so far my favorite shade. I'm not necessarily drawn to these shades ever, but I just so appreciate the pigmentation behind it. I love the glitter effect it has. I mean, it is just, it's so pretty. It just reminds me of a beautiful tropical ocean, and I absolutely love this color. That one actually stained my lid just a bit. I did my best to remove it. Um, it's not that bad, but you see a little blue, so I apologize about that. This name, like, oh my god, these names are some of the best ColourPop names I've ever heard, or like collab names. Bretman Rock did a fantastic job. This next shade is called Skinny Legend. I mean, iconic. Ooh, it's just a gorgeous matte nude. This is the perfect cool tone transition shade. If you are looking for a beautiful cool tone transition shade, this is for you. It almost like is as if it has a little mauve in it. It's really just a nude, but like for some reason I see a little mauve pulling through. It blends like a dream too. Oh my gosh. This palette has stolen my heart. Look at that beautiful matte creamy transition tone by the Beard of Zeus. I swear this is such a beautiful palette. This palette is just stealing my heart right now. We have another dark shimmery blue. This shade is called Mood and it's just very royal, very royal blue. Let's pop that on, see what's popping. Ah, it's so opaque. Oh my gosh, it's just a sea of color. Oh my god, I have to sneeze. I have to sneeze. Oh my goodness, I just sneezed. I'm sorry. Do you ever sneeze and then you feel like your face looks weird? Like your eyes get all weird? Anyway, beautiful. This is another one I don't want to blend out just because it's a shimmer. It, I don't think it makes much sense. I would definitely lay down a darker, like a really beautiful chocolate brown in the crease and then blend this into it. But it is opaque. It is pigmented. No chalkiness, no streakiness. It is beautiful. Mood. Mood is a big mood, for sure. I love it. I just look like a mess near the end of these videos, so I'm sorry my hair is like crazy and I'm looking frizzy and just like gross on the face. <laughs> We're next gonna be swatching the shade Fishy. This one has a lot more shimmers in it. I mean, you have uh, probably the same amount of mattes actually, but the shimmers just are gorgeous. I'm excited for this color. Oh my goodness, yes. This is a shade, oh, I would love to put this shade on a black base a nice black gel liner or just a black cream base, black eyeliner, what have you. But it would be stunning. It's like a gorgeous emerald with like some blue in there. It's definitely like my favorite type of color. And it has a great, great shimmer. Ooh, I wouldn't even call it a shimmer. It has just this glaze. Okay, it's not by any means perfect and that's my fault. The shadow itself is gorgeous. Don't mind my hideous blend up there, but it's beautiful. Only two shades left, you guys. We are getting to the very end. This next one is called Thickums. Oh my gosh, we are currently planning my bachelorette party in Vegas, which I'm unbelievably excited about. I've never done like a girl's trip with my friends and my sister, and it's gonna be amazing. The group chat is lit right now, so I'm sorry if you hear my phone buzzing. I put it on like, you know, don't disturb or, you know how you can like silence a group chat, but it like doesn't silence it. I don't know what the hell is going on with my phone. That is like Tin Man foil. I can't believe how foiled this is. With no primer, with no base. You know I'm not crazy about silvers, but I appreciate a highly pigmented silver. That is highly pigmented, people. Again, not my taste, solely for personal preferences. I don't love silver whatsoever. I know a lot of you do, and it's a good silver. And the very last shade is a gorgeous matte brown called Iwa Beach. Ooh, a beautiful, warm, medium tone chocolate. This is perfect for all the blues in this palette. Blend, blend and blend. Oh, it's blending beautifully. Wow, wow, wow. This is like one of my all-time favorite browns. Bretman Rock, you did it, honey. I honestly think my favorite palette is the wet palette. I think the blues are just so unique. They're so different. I love this fishy shade. I love LOL I'm Crying. Love this palette. I honestly think the wet collection is my favorite out of the two. Let me know what your favorite collection was out of these two. What will you be picking up? Are you getting the whole lot or are you just gonna stick to something or another? Anyways, you guys, that is my final thoughts on this collection. Let me know what your favorite was and what you're gonna be picking up and all that good stuff. Thank you for watching these live swatches. Don't forget I'm doing 25 giveaways during December. Make sure you're following my Twitter and my Instagram so you will be entered into the giveaways. Subscribe to my channel as well and turn on video notifications. No one seems to ever know when I have
have a video up. It's like my most common comment right now is, I had no idea you had a new video out. So make sure your notifications are turned on. Hit that bell and hit all notifications so you do not miss a video. I've actually filmed like six videos this week. You guys have a lot of new content coming, which I'm really stoked about. I love you all so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.